Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 25th of October 2022. So US stocks and UK bonds soar as China chunders a yen intervention again fails. I think they spent 50 billion yen so far in trying to support uh, the currency. Incredible, isn't it? Uh, stocks bid uh, ahead of uh, earnings uh, bombardment while China tech stocks dive and the US stocks uh, were bid across the board, although small caps underperformed. And here's an interesting uh, article. There is too much uh, debt in the world, so they must inflate it away, which they will. That's the only thing you need to know. And I mentioned this before this inflation recycle started, uh, because the Fed, not because of any uh, psychic ability on my part, but the Fed had actually said, you know, the last thing we've got to try to deal with the debt is to inflate it. And that's uh, what we've seen for the last uh, 12 months. And uh, I'm sure that's uh, their intention Otherwise, they'll have to reset the debt is uh, the only other option. So it's the last uh, stand, really, to see if they can hyperinflate the debt away. But only time will tell, uh, of course. Uh, economic news today. What have we got? Uh, anything major? U.S. Uh, consumer confidence. We've got the info business climate at 930 but there's not uh, a lot in between all of this. Like I say, news uh, this week is fairly quiet. It's half term as well. Uh, for a lot of traders so yeah we'll just have to see so it's all time perfectly well there no uh, major news items gold silver ratio is uh, sideways as well so let's get on and have a look at uh, the Dow for yesterday so once more we see the market uh, moving to the upside as I mentioned in yesterday's alert and I'll mention in today's as well if you can take out the previous day's high you've got a very good chance of continuing to move the market to the upside and that's precisely what we're seeing at the moment 78 89 above here and the 200 ma tying in with the high where we saw the previous uh, selling coming into the market the dow has moved from uh, this low to yesterday's high a total now of nearly 3,000 points to the upside uh, due for a bit of a, a breather and correction but uh, like i say if you can take out the high of yesterday, which is there at 31,599, you can continue to keep moving the markets to the upside. The low has now become a lot further away. Also mentioned uh, this yesterday, and you can see this in the Dow, that once it got back above the high, it was uh, a matter of just keep pumping the market to the upside. In the German DAX, we have a similar picture. We've got the 200 MA up there, close to where we had the recent high. We've got the 78 and 89 here as well. We've also got uh, the DAX taking out yesterday's high. Uh, the only difference is we've got a bit of supply. They're trying to absorb the selling coming into the market. But given there's no economic news, the geopolitical situation seems to have calmed down as far as uh, Russia and Ukraine are concerned. So what's the, to stop the market from moving to the upside? Plus, we've got all of the earnings coming out as well, and it's very easy to cook the books uh, to appeal to the markets as well. So uh, it doesn't seem as if there is much on the downside. There might be shakeouts like we had yesterday where the market moves lower, but then uh, moves to the upside. As we saw yesterday morning, the market rallied and then sold off in the 30-minute chart down to the DP and the 50 bar moving average with a cluster of volume stopping the market before it moved to the upside we traded straight to the high once through the high we continued moving up and uh, making new uh, highs that we haven't seen for a while let's just go back to the daily charts uh, if i can find it and also let's have a look see how far the dax has moved in this last move to yesterday's high and we're looking at uh, nearly a thousand points to the upside now for the German DAX there as well. In the five minute charts, I will look in a bit more detail. Let's just drag this over to yesterday's trading session and there you'll see the futures were higher. They came back to the 20 bar and five bar and then they blasted through the high but was met with selling. And uh, you can see how prices moved uh, lower more than 100 points down to that DP and then put in an 89% retracement over sold again and then uh, it was uh, a matter of getting through the high which the, once they'd done this that was the last time the market traded until later on in the evening where again the market uh, bounced off it so you can see how important when a market starts to move to the upside that the high becomes a very important uh, target 
and in a down move the low becomes a major area of support so the five minute chart uh, overnight you can see again the dp being playing a role here to keep the market uh, moving to the upside we've got the close there and then just above this uh, you will see we've got uh, the high which is uh, around about 100 points uh, higher than here and you can do that uh, when the futures open never mind uh, the cash market so at the moment uh, the DAX above the five bar moving average needs to take out the close this level and also just going back to uh, yesterday I'll use the 30 minute chart because it's easier to see the 13,000 uh, level which I'd mentioned uh, during yesterday's market alert is this red line here and you can see how this became a resistance area for the market as well so it's important if we aim for the the high of yesterday we've got to take out uh, the 13,000 with some conviction trades for yesterday I didn't do a lot uh, still busy with this uh, winding this trust up and solicitors letters uh, only 66.80 2.87 and uh, we 85 uh, 15 on uh, the win loss ratio but i started off slowly last week and we ended up with uh, 812 by the end of the week so uh, not a problem soon play catch up as time uh, dictates there in the s p we've got a bit of a, a double top going on here market stopping at the 50 bar moving average but again not far off uh, yesterday's high to take this out and continue the move to the upside in the FTSE 100 similar we're at 89% at retracement yesterday taking out the previous day's high a bit more choppy and of course we've now got a, a new prime minister for this week we may have a new one next week but uh, yeah you can see uh, when it was announced and the market didn't really react as much as I thought it uh, may have done, but uh, the high very important to be taken out, unless uh, the economy is going to give him a bit of a kick in um, over the next few weeks. We'll just have to wait and see, but I don't think it'll be long before we have uh, a general election uh, anyway. Uh, also, uh, yesterday we saw that bit of a, a sell-off there, and then as soon as we got back above the 200 MA and the DP, the market uh, moving to the upside. GBP JPY sideways uh, for yesterday, despite uh, Sunak being elected, and you can see after uh, the event uh, the market moving lower. A bit of weakness there, that means the dollars are uh, moving up at the moment in the pound. Again, you can see up to 89. This is due for a correction as well, and I still think we're going to see a retest of uh, these lows while well. Sunak's there as well. They don't want him, the city don't want him there. They'll soon make it known as they did with Liz Trust when the futures uh, selling in the pound increased by 70%. So the 20 bar moving average is important here. And down in the 30 minute chart, you can see yesterday the reaction of the pound to Sunak. Well, it's not really that interested, is it? So again, what's going to move this to the upside at the moment if it didn't uh, move on these uh, the announcements? You know, is it... Uh, the classic uh, who's track of uh, meet uh, the new boss same as the old boss so we'll have to wait and see but at the moment it's looking fairly weakish for the pound uh, following Sunak's uh, win during uh, the very short uh, selection for the new prime minister and finally in the metals uh, silver running into trouble yesterday we got some uh, supply coming into the market at the 50 EMA we're down on the overnight which you can see there uh, just a, a tad off the DP yesterday sideways I think a lot was sideways yesterday and like I say it's half term this week as well gold uh, continuing to move up on yesterday night's move but then was sold into and looking weaker overnight as well 30 minute chart there as well you can see just uh, coming off the close of yesterday Dollar, of course, uh, attempting to move higher, which is why we're seeing the GBP, JPY and cable move lower. And in the 30 minute chart, you can see they're just trying to bring this off the low. And they've got to maintain this if the dollar is to move higher. And that's why, again, you've got a situation now in the daily chart where the low is very important. And that's why you're seeing this in the 30 minute chart where you get this uh, volume as well. You get this stopping volume as they try and move the markets off the low and hold that uh, channel in the sideways uh, move there.
Okay, that's it for this one. Say no great news. Uh, geopolitical news has gone quiet. It's half term. Uh, makes sense. It's normally the case. So we'll just have to wait and see uh, what the market's going to do. But if there's nothing around to force any selling, then the market is likely to uh, be sideways to higher. Okay, that's it for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.